Yes, Lord, we celebrate your goodness tonight. Come on. Praise the Lord. This is Sam for the day. Coming to you from the Within Christian Church of God, St. Papari, Abuja. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, you are the eternal of the ages. We honor your holy name because, Lord, we know there is none that can be compared unto you. Father, Lord, we thank you, Lord, for this day. We thank you, O oh Lord, for your wondrous work in our life. Lord, as we go into your word, Give us a deeper revelation in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, our Father. In Jesus' glorious name, we pray. Amen. Dearly beloved, you're welcome once again today to Psalm for the Day. And our Psalm for the Day is taken from the book of Psalm 142. We're reading verse 1 to 2. Psalm 142. Verse 1 and 2. I cried unto the Lord with my voice. With my voice unto the Lord. Did I make my supplication? Verse 2 says, I poured my complaint before him. I showed before him my trouble. The psalmist cried unto the Lord. He made his supplication known unto God. He poured out his heart, his complaint unto the Lord. This psalm is a prayer that David offered to God from the depth of his heart when he was forced to take shelter in the cave of Adlon. And this because Saul was after his life. Feeling trapped, he felt isolated. He felt loneliness. And what can he do? All he could do was to see the face of God. He saw the face of God for refuge. And that is why in the book of 1 Samuel chapter 22 verse 1, 1 Samuel chapter 22 verse 1, the Bible says that David therefore departed thence and escaped to the cave Adelon. And when his brethren and all his fathers out added, they went down thither to do what? To meet him. Because David had to flee from Saul. The only thing he could do when he was in that cave was to seek the face of the Lord, was to pray and commit the situation that he has found himself unto the Lord's ends. Psalm 142 verse 1. I cry out to the Lord with my voice. I cried out with my voice unto the Lord. And with that same voice, I made my supplication known to God. Beloved, what do you do in desperate situations? Because there are some circumstances that we find ourselves and we think all hope is lost. What do you do when death seems inevitable? And how do you react? Will you cry out unto the Lord God Almighty? Will you lift up your voice unto him? David was highly terrorized. Being pursued was actually an expectation of death. Every moment he thinks about being in that cave is like death can come 
at any point in time. Because one, the cave was so deep. And apparently being in a cave, it means that the cave is dark. However, in that dark alley where David found himself, David did not forget God. David allowed the tears to flow freely, forgetting totally that he is actually a great soldier, that he is a great warrior. He allowed the tears to run down. His position at that point in time as a great leader, as a great warrior, did not matter to him. He wept so. David was in distress. Are you out there this day and experiencing any form of distress? One thing you need to do is for you to loosen up before your creator. Only laying down the matter before him. One thing I want to tell you is that God is bigger than every mountain. No matter the level of the mountain, both seen and unseen mountains in our lives, God is bigger than all these mountains. Often, we are hard to show our problems to ourselves, aggravating it, pondering upon it, being aggrieved by the situation that we find ourselves. But do you know that it's of no use and it's of a disservice unto you as a person. And that is why in verse 2 of Psalm 142, the psalmist says, I pour out my complaint before God. I tell him my trouble before him. In every situation that we find we must be what? We must be supplicants. With plea, we should lay our matters before the Lord God Almighty. The Bible says in the book of Psalm chapter 55 verse 22, Psalm 55 verse 22, it says that cast your body on the Lord Releasing the weight of that body that you are carrying. Releasing unto the Lord. And it will do what? The Lord will sustain you. It will never allow the consistent soul. It will never allow the righteous to be moved. It will ensure that the righteous does not sleep, does not fail, or fall. Because that is his promise for us as his children. What is prayer? The psalmist prayed. Prayer is that expression of our confidence in the Lord God Almighty. When we tell him freely of all our problems, at that point, it is a special request from the depth of our heart that God come and have an intervention. We seek your face for divine intervention and help concerning this situation. And that is why we lift up our voice unto you and pray and pray through. In the book of Isaiah chapter 26 verse 16, Isaiah 26 verse 16, 
The Bible says, O oh Lord, in this Christ that sought you, they poured out a whispered prayer when your discipline was upon you. Even the prayers that we did not voice out, the Lord God Almighty will hear us. Dearly beloved, are you ready to cry with a loud voice unto the Lord? Let us pray. Father, in your mercy, O Lord, this day. Lord, we do not know what to pray for as we hope. But we know that the Spirit himself intercedes for us with running too deep for what? And that is why we are calling unto you, O oh Lord, Father. Please give heed to our cry. In our distress, O oh Lord, Father, we pray thee. Come close to us. Draw nearer to us, Father. In the mighty name of Jesus. Almighty Father, we call upon thy holy name. That Lord, you will not hide your face, O Lord. You will not hide your face from us in the day of distress. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, you will grant our request speedily, O Lord. As we call upon you, as we cry unto you, you will grant our request speedily. In the mighty name of Jesus and our Heavenly Father, we know that there is none that can be compared unto you. And that is why Father Lord will say, Oh Lord, that whenever, Oh Lord, that we are confronted with the snares of death, whenever we are confronted with the traps of the evil ones, Lord, we pray thee that you will make a way of escape for us in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, our Father, as we have poured out our heart unto you. So shall it be in Jesus' name. In Jesus' precious and matchless name, we have prayed. Amen. Yes, Lord, we celebrate your goodness tonight. Come on.